Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for a special edition of the show. I've been lazy the past like month or two. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm going live on Instagram over here. So if I look over here to that over there, um, um, if I look over there, it means I'm looking to see if anyone on Instagram is watching live. Uh, right now there are zero. And I've, I've been going live for, I don't know how many minutes, like by three, four minutes. Anyway, um, special edition of the show. It's a Christmas episode. Got, got the Christmas tree up. No green screen. Uh, we're going to record a couple episodes tonight. Uh, the night I'm recording this, we're going to get my um, Christmas episode done, my New Year's Eve episode done. Then January will come along. I've got, got a lot of wine I need to start recording. Uh, I need to start reviewing stuff that was sample, sample wine sent to me. Not just the wine I purchased. It doesn't really matter when I review the purchased wine because I purchased it, so it doesn't matter. I just said that again. Uh, but sample wine, there's a little bit of an impetus to like get it sampled or, or reviewed in a reasonable amount of time. And I've got probably like five shows worth of wine. Well, four, I think. Like four shows worth of wine. And actually, uh, New Year's Eve is it, going to be one of the shows that I have sample wine from. Actually, two different sample wines. But let's get into this episode. Um, so as you can see, I've got three different things going on here. This is the first of, of a show where I've combined styles of wine for a holiday episode. Um, so the first wine, uh, and all three of these were bought at World Market. So I hadn't, hadn't given them any love in a while. Um, you know, they, they have that nice little, collect, well, I like to say eclectic collection of wine. It's not that eclectic. Um, it's just when I first started getting into this, I would look at their wine selection and it was like, well, they have stuff that nobody else has, or they have like, you know, not that nobody else has, but you know, I wasn't seeing elsewhere, but then again, I wasn't really going to a lot of different places. All right. So, um, and uh, yeah, and they also have like their little themed stuff. So let's get into it. So this is the first one here. This is I believe it's non-vintage. Yeah. This is the non-vintage electric reindeer Chardonnay. Uh, purchased this for, well, it's, it, it lists, sorry, I didn't mean to yawn there. I did wake up kind of early this morning, went to work. Now I'm recording it late, late. So I've been up for a while. Um, so uh, this uh, retails for $6.99. I got it for $5.59 because of being in the World Explorer program, whatever. You get a little bit of a discount. So, um, you know, we want to watch me. Hey, man, it's like one. It's like one thirty in the morning. I don't. I mean, everyone's asleep, or they're out at the club on a Friday night. They're not getting on Instagram, at least not to look for a live video. Anyway, um, so electric reindeer. So you're like, well, where can I get that? World Market. I mean. It's, they call it an exclusive. Um, I call it a private label. Anyway, um, in doing some searching on the internet, I want to say that um, somewhere along the line, somebody made a connection with another winery and these guys. Um, and I don't know how long ago that connection was made and if it's still valid or it's or may never have been valid. But uh, Adler Fells was listed as a winery for these guys. Oh, man. Are you serious? Are you? I bet you this is a synthetic. Well, if, this is, if it was a synthetic cork, it probably would slide out real easily. There we go. Man, sometimes I love this device, but sometimes those corks really hold on to the needle. Anyway, uh, Adler Fells, I think, might have been a maker of this wine at some point. Maybe they still make it. Um, there's nothing anywhere, um, other than a couple like reviews on Vivino that make the connection, but World Market obviously doesn't say anything. The back label doesn't say anything and the Adler Fells website doesn't say anything. 
Um, so private label uh, type of wine, you know, um, who knows who makes this makes this one. Maybe Adler Fells made the original electric reindeer and maybe uh, World Market decided to um, contract it out to, to other, somebody else. But um, that's what happens a lot with some of these uh, private label wines is they're next to impossible to find out who makes it. And I wasn't going to spend the next like hour searching for it because reality is really that important for me to search for the, the actual winemaker for a $6 bottle of wine, $7 bottle of wine. No. All right. So let's get into it. And the only reason I bought because it's electric reindeer. And they've been, they, the world market has had this wine for quite a while. Um, it's just, I always find something else to buy. All right. Really golden color. Okay. So on the nose, um, apples, mostly apples. I would say golden apples. Maybe some red apple, not really any green, not, not as much green apple. Some pear. And tangerine. Yeah. Tangerine's a little little citrus, a little orange. So I mean pleasant nose. I mean it's mostly fruit driven, um, not like in your face fruit driven. It was like I call it a moderate intensity. And um, as far as spices and organics and herbs and earth and all that kind of stuff, floral, it doesn't really jump out at me. But you know, maybe like a, maybe like a honeysuckle type of flower, some type of flower thing. I don't know. Yeah, well, let's let's see it. Let's see how it tastes. It's a California Chardonnay, basic California Chardonnay. It doesn't suck. Like, it's not bad wine. It's not like the best wine I ever had, but I mean, it tastes like a California Chardonnay and it's under $7. And I've tasted Chardonnay that tastes just like this that retails for three times as much money. Um, retails in the $20 range. So, I mean, you like standard California Chardonnay and you're not really worried about the label and you're not embarrassed by uh, that's not a really great say to say you don't care what the label says I want to say embarrassed is not really say because if it's decent wine it's decent wine I mean I would drink this at like a party and this is really this is like party wine this is a wine that you're having for a Christmas party you're having a Christmas dinner um, or you're just having a party and, and you just have some wine left over um, People want a white wine. It's easy drinking. It has flavor to it. Um, it's not bitter. It's not overly sweet. I mean, there's like a, I wouldn't say, I don't want to call it a touch of sweetness, but the fruit comes through. It's got some decent acid, but it's not like high acid where it's like ripping through your mouth and like you're just like razor blades. But it's a, I'd say call it medium plus almost on the acid. I mean, it's it's tasty for seven bucks. I mean, you're not going to go wrong if you like this style of like the style of wine. It's, it's it's actually not bad. And I'm really not a Chardonnay drinker, but I mean, not like this type of Chardonnay. I mean, it's not bad. Check it out. All right, so let's move on to. I'm going to be a little uncouth and use my finger to, to test temperature. That's not too bad. All right, we're going to do the mulled wine next. All right, so let's move that over here for now. There's put it over there. All right, so mulled wine. So if you, and I meant to look this up. I meant to look this up before I started. So we're going to look up right now. But if you have been watching my show for quite a while it's probably maybe 
four Christmases ago. Maybe. Um, might be five Christmases. Let's see. Oh, wow. Wow. Five. Five Christmases ago. 2011. Uh, I did a Christmas special, episode number 203, by the way. Um, and I actually mulled. Um, I did three wines and then I mulled a wine. Um, and I was in my kitchen and I was going through the demonstration how you can do a mulled wine at home. So um, if you have any, and maybe if, I'm, if I remember correctly, or if I remember, I'll put a link in the comments on the website to... Uh, for that show so you can watch that one. Oh, you know what? I, I probably need to make sure. Let's go there right now. I probably don't have the YouTube embedded video on it anyway. Nope. So I need to I need to do put the embed code for YouTube on, on that page. All right, so anyway, mulled wine. So what is a mulled wine? It's basically a wine that's served hot or warm. Um, they, they take typically a red wine. They add a bunch of spices to it to kind of you know, give it this Christmassy type of flavor. It's usually around this time of year that it's made. It's, you know, it's a winter type of beverage. It's served warm or hot. Um, so what we're going to do is, <clears throat> there's no vintage for this. Uh, it's just called the Winter Saison Glühwein. Glühwein. Um, and a Glühwein is roughly translated to as glow wine from the hot irons once used for mulling. Uh, it's popular in German-speaking countries and in the region of Alsace, France. Um, it's traditionally offered during Christmas. It, the oldest documented one uh, or documented Glühwein tankard is attributed to Count John the Fourth of Katzenelbogen. That was that was a mouthful. Um, a German nobleman who was the first grower of Riesling grapes. Um, as usually prepared from red wine, heated and spiced with cinnamon sticks, cloves, star aniseed, uh, citrus sugar, and at times vanilla pods. It is sometimes drunk with a shot, which means that rum or some other liquor has been uh, added. Um, and then they sometimes use fruit, like blueberry, uh, make fruit, use fruit wines like blueberry and cherry wine. Instead of grape wine, I shouldn't be... Sorry, I should not be uh, yawning. And sometimes they have a white glue wine, but it's not uh, as popular as the red. And so let's check it out. So I've got my coffee cup here. I poured a little bit out, uh, threw in the microwave to heat it up. It was steaming hot. It's been probably almost 20 minutes, 15, 15 to 20 minutes. So, um, oh, bought it at World Market. And I got it. So this is already prepared. I didn't have to do anything to it. You're supposed to serve it hot or warm. I bought it. Well, it, it lists for $8.99. And through the whole little discount program I'm with, I paid $6.39 for it. So how do you say cheers in German? I don't know. So on the smell, you know, it, it you, you get that grapiness. Like kind of a grape juice, but you can tell it's like warmed, warmed up. But it smells sweet, and you have like that. I would I would say you probably you get that that cinnamon and clove. I don't really get the the other stuff necessarily. Maybe a little orange. I mean, it smells nice. It smells Christmassy and all that. If you like mulled wine, you're probably gonna love this. Um, I mean, I'm gonna drink it probably. I mean, probably. Um, but I mean, it's, it's tasty for sure. It's almost like, I mean, it's not piping, piping hot right now, but in some ways it's like, um, it's like a tea. It has, it has almost like a tea quality and flavor, you know, spiced tea. You get a little bit of that tannic structure that you get with 
with tea. I mean, tea leaves have tannin in them. Grapes have tannin. So it's like almost like a, um, a flavored tea. That's kind of a grape, has grape flavor to it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Anyway, if you're looking for something kind of different, again, you're going to serve it. Maybe you just want something at the house or you want to serve it again. If you have a Christmas party going on or whatever, check it out. And it's, this particular one at World Market is probably no different than what Total Wine has or Binnie's in Chicago or whatever your local big box wine shop is or Gabriel's here in San Antonio, that type of stuff. So it's probably all similar style. May all be made by the same people too. All right, so let's get into, that's why I want to get into eggnog. So I love eggnog. And normally the eggnog we drink is just the standard grocery store eggnog, has no alcohol in it. But when I was at World Market, I bought all this during Halloween. I was like, I'm, I'm buying my Christmas stuff now because they already had it out. Um, so I saw this and they had two versions. They had the original eggnog and then they had a chocolate eggnog. And I was like, ah, let's just go original eggnog. So this is called Holly Nog. It is made with real cream. Uh, flavored wine specialty. Boom, well, there's that. I paid, or I'm sorry, it, it was it was uh, listed for $11.99. And after all the little discounts I got, um, it's, I paid $10.12. So um, there isn't a whole lot about, about uh, this product. Um, they have like, you know, um, they have like this, you know, marketing fluff web page that tells you absolutely nothing about the wine. It's basically just this in the web form. Um, but Midwest Custom Bottling is who makes it. Um, and they are out of um, Wisconsin, I believe. Uh, it doesn't say. Contact. How about we go contact? What does that say? No. Midwest Bottling. Uh, it doesn't give him... Anyway, I think it's somewhere out of Wisconsin, or they use Wisconsin cream. Um, oh yeah, uh, Pewaukee, Wisconsin. There we go. Anyway, I found another. I found like an article. Bev, Bevindustry.com had a, li a little blurb about it. So um, these guys who make this produce rum chata. That's why I made sure I had the website. Um, so they released Holly Nog spiked eggnog with wine and Wisconsin dairy cream. It says, before the Revolutionary War, eggnog was made with wine. Which is funny because on the back of this, it says, during the 17th century, Brit the British aristocracy would raise a glass of eggnog made with wine. So, yes, before the Civil War. But then when you read the history of eggnog in the United States, wine was heavily taxed. Um, and let me get to... So, um, history, it, it, it was in here somewhere. It was, you know, wine was heavily taxed. So they started using um, rum because they could get the rum cheaper uh, in the United States. So that's why they, they used that. So I was just trying to see if it was easily found, but I can't find it off the top of my head or off, you know, real quickly. So, anyway, um, they use wine in here. But it's funny because it says, I thought this was about, or, oh yeah. So when you look at the bottom with the, for like a list of ingredients type of thing, it says other than standard orange wine with real dairy cream, natural and artificial flavor, caramel color, and then, oh yeah. Midwest Custom Bottling, Pewaukee, Wisconsin on the bottom, uh, contains sulfites, which is every wine bottle basically says. Um, so I wonder, like, did they make use white wine that they had a lot of skin contact, the orange wine, or did they use oranges? I don't know. Anyway, let's check it out. I, it's been out of the refrigerator for a little bit. Of course, it's not. Man, how about that? I love when that happens. All right, so we're gonna use the electric reindeer. 
Chardonnay glass. Give myself a healthy pour. Probably just gonna drink this. Anyway, I love eggnog. Cannot wait to see what this tastes like. Oh, it smells just like eggnog. It's got all like the nutmeg and all the type of spices and you got the creaminess and the it's probably eggs and everything else in it. God, it smells great. Hey man, nobody's watching me. Sorry, I'm not worried about it. I'm drinking this. Dude, this is tasty. You like eggnog and you want a little spike to it instead of like making your own spiked eggnog. I mean, you know, it's like 10 bucks for this bottle and I could, I could finish a bottle by myself. So if you're having a party, man, you better have a ton of bottles of this for, for your guests who like eggnog. I could totally, I could totally just all day long. Like, yeah, on my day off, my day's off next week or this week when you're watching this. Yeah, I might be finishing this off. Yeah, it's eggnog that's spiked. You can you can feel the alcohol in it. I mean, it is absolutely tasty. We're going to put that aside because we have another show to do here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go see Trans-Siberian. My father and I are going to go see it. I saw it, God, 2000. Nine or ten. I think it was 2009 I saw them. Um, great show. So you ever get to see them, it's really nice. You know, what I would love to see is uh, Mannheim Steamroller. If they ever did live shows again, did their Christmas stuff. I just want to see Mannheim Steamroller, period. Um, for just all their other stuff. Um, if you don't know who they are, look them up. All right. So, um, uh, yeah. Wow. That's great. A special episode that's under half an hour. Can you believe it? Um, Electric Reindeer is not bad. Ten, you know, not even like eight, seven dollar, eight dollar bottle of Chardonnay. So I mean, if you can find it, get it. This, if you like mulled wine, you're probably gonna love this. If you like eggnog, like I do, you're, this is great stuff. And it's all relatively cheap, and that's the best part. You don't spend a crap ton of money on something that, especially for holidays. I mean. Let's realize that people, when they come over to your house for a party, they don't care what you're serving as far as alcohol. I mean, they may have like certain spirits or beers that they're, is their favorite, but as long as you've got something that's halfway decent, they're gonna drink it and they're there to enjoy and have fun with you. And when you have the holidays going on, the gift giving and all that stuff, or New Year's, when we get to that one, it's all about the experience and, it, and the wine's secondary. So you don't have to spend you know, 20, 30, 40 dollars on bottles of wine that probably, unless it's a, unless you're having a, a party with wine people, um, most of your friends really don't care about the wine. They, they could care less what the history of, of a glue wine is. They just know it's a spicy, you serve it hot and it's tasty or, you know, this, that, and the other. So if you have it, um, this is the up your alley, even the, even the electric reindeer, Chardonnay, I, I, if this is that good, I imagine their other wines are at least drinkable. Uh, buy them. All right, so that's going to do it for this week. Um, thank you for stopping by. Uh, friend me up. Cl click the links above to friend me up. Uh, click the links below at the website to uh, find out more about these, which is basically just going to take you to World Markets website. Um, and then uh, hit the donate button so I can buy more wine. And uh, that's going to do it. Uh, Thanks for stopping by and we'll see everyone again next time.